Hi guys, it's Eric Cressy coming to you from Cressy Sports Performance Florida. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the joint by joint theory as it applies to elbow injuries. And if you're not familiar with it, um, it's basically an approach that was initially put out there by Greg Cook and popularized by Mike Boyle in some of his writings that talked about how your body is a series of uh, basically regional independence, meaning you might have really stiff hips that could lead to low back issues, you might have stiff thoracic spine that could lead to low back issues. So immobility, instability, immobility, instability. So you tend to work in a, in a series of alternating joints that maybe need to be designed more for mobility, like the hips or the shoulder, um, versus something that's more designed towards stability, something like a hinge joint at the knee or the low back that doesn't want a whole lot of motion. So very rarely does this get applied um, a little bit further down the kinetic chain when we're talking about our arm, particularly in throwing injuries. If you guys are familiar with some of my work in the past, I've spoken uh, quite a bit about how really, really stiff lats, um, which are you know, basically shoulder extensors, internal rotators and adductors, they need to be able to relax to allow for a clean layback position. So I've spoken to how a lack of good shoulder mobility can sometimes predispose um, the elbow to some extra stress um, in, in terms of valgus stress as you lay your arm back from the wrong kind of mechanisms. But very rarely have we talked about what actually happens further down the arm. And we think of the elbow as purely just a hinge joint. In reality, we have to appreciate there's actually a joint a little bit further down um, of basically where uh, both the radius and the ulna interact. So they have the radial ulnar joint, both proximally and distally, has to allow for that pronation and supination. So we need to think of it as a joint here, a joint here, and then an additional joint right there. Where that's really, really significant with respect to throwing uh, injuries is when you lay your arm back here, not only do you have external rotation taking place at the shoulder, but you also have supination taking place further down here at both at that radial ulnar joint. That supination as you lay your arm back potentiates the pronation that happens as you power through the baseball to not only drive uh, arm speed, but also drive arm side run with a fastball um, or change up whatever it is to stay on the baseball as long as you can. But it also potentiates spin rate as you basically are able to power through the baseball and, and effectively spin through it. So what we realize though is that you'll often see pitchers who are really, really limited in supination. I'm gonna Nick just turn towards the camera here. And that supination limitation, the ability to rotate is, is very, very similar to having like a stiff lat at the shoulder that doesn't allow you to get your lay back to the right places. So when it comes to actually working on supination, um, we wanna make sure that when we do our elbow extension stretches, that we're actually taking our middle finger down towards about six on the clock. Um, and then on top of that, we'll also stretch in a position of a little bit of elbow flexion. So what I'll usually have guys do is go up on the wall. So in the case of a guy who's right-handed, we might actually take that middle finger a little bit closer to seven um, on the clock just to drive a little bit more of supination as we extend. And then the other one, we'll bring them right back in and we'll stretch them in both positions. Usually what you'll find is that stretch is a little bit more pronounced further up on the proximal radial ulnar joint when the elbow is extended. And then when you bend the elbow and bring it a little bit lower down, folks tend to feel it a little bit more distally. So if you have stiffness here and you have stiffness here, you're gonna take a hinge joint and ask it to do way too much in terms of mobility than it probably should.